What is up guys, it's Hyrule once again and I'm coming at you guys with another content of Cook Your Kingdom. In this video, I want to talk about how you guys can make the best PvE team with the current cookies that you guys own inside of the game and how you guys can maximize and what is required within most uh, PvE teams in order for you to push in the world exploration. Anyways guys, if you guys find this video helpful, please hit that subscribe button and the like button and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future Kagura Kingdom videos I upload on YouTube. Anyways guys, with all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so let's talk about it. Um, so here we go. This is um, a world exploration team setup that I have um, going on here. I just cleared everything out. But before I get into any of uh, this, there are two ways for you to uh, lose in world exploration. I think it's very, very important for us to go over that. Um, and one of them obviously is, as you know, every cookie dies in your team. Then obviously you will lose. Second one is time. Alright, so we do run out of time and if that happens then you lose and you will have to do the stage again and try to beat it within the time. So that's why it's very important for us to follow the general rule of having one front tank, uh, one healer in the rear, and around two of uh, DPSs. And it's important for us to have multiple AoE DPSs in order for us to deal with a lot of the mob stages that we have not every uh stage is going to have bosses or very strong enemies really right uh, it's not going to have many bosses it's not going to have bosses so there are going to be many stages that involves you killing a lot of mob you know like you'll have like seven or eight that you have to kill before you can move on to the next stage or next portion of the stage and it's important for us to have aoe dps's so i would say the general rule is obviously have a healer healer is going to be very very important uh the there are main two healers that uh everybody really uses is going to be pure vanilla uh, who is the ancient cookie so if you have pure vanilla then there is no other healers you need to really invest in except for pure vanilla if you do not have pure vanilla the next best healer is going to be herb cookie and then there are also on um, different supports and uh our sparkling cookie who ha who is still a healer just doesn't heal as much because it only heals two cookies here so i wouldn't recommend uh using sparkling as much but there are supports out there who does pretty 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 well in healing and that's uh parfait pomegranate and minch choco all right so those are the healers that we really have here uh going on if you do not have any of them if you do not have any of them the healer that you can go with is going to be our custard cookie okay custard is the free uh, rare healer that we get and we really call pure uh, cookie or custer cookie the uh, budget pure vanilla all right very, not very good uh, with the healing and the shield but still it works it works so i would say the number one thing is to have a very uh, good healer in the back lane uh, i have tested out parfait pomegranate and herb side by side in the world exploration and pomegranate does out heal both of them so i would say if you do not have herb or you don't have uh, pomegranate parfait is going to work if you do not have pure vanilla as well all right so i would say general rule have one healer at least okay and next one is going to be very important the front line okay so front line is uh very important for us to have there are different front lines that we can use we have the defense and we have a charge okay so we have two different uh front line um classes that we have uh in cookie and kingdom and defense are going to be focusing more on really just tanking for the team not really doing much damage yes they can do damage but their uh, skills are more focused on tanking or buffing the other t uh, other cookies in your team so if you remember it's strawberry crepe uh, madeline milk all right so they are the defense epic defense uh cookies that we have in the game so far so let me just take out dark choco right now and we do have other um other ones in the game like avocado and knight okay so here we go um when it comes to the front line madeline is 
okay, but I wouldn't recommend you use Madeline in World Exploration just because it's a very selfish uh, cookie in a sense where he does do knockback uh, with AoE damage but doesn't really provide anything more uh, to your team uh, except for that uh, debuff immunity which is not very good for World Exploration. It doesn't increase his survivability so um, uh, Madeline is not going to be the best for PvE. However, when it comes to Strawberry Crepe, Strawberry Crepe does allow you to have this 50% uh, damage resist buff on two of your lowest cookie, HP cookie. So that means your DPSs most likely are going to have extra 50% damage resist, which allows them to survive a lot longer in the run. So I would definitely recommend not having someone like Strawberry Crepe in there. If you do not have Strawberry Crepe, Milk Cookie also does work with that 50% uh, less damage. Uh, for five seconds and having the taunt as well uh, does allow milk cookie to do a ton of tanking for your team however milk cookies uh, does fall off later on in the stage after around uh, i would say stage eight or nine it is not worth uh, investing in milk cookie for pve alone so i would say if you have strawberry crepe then definitely go with strawberry crepe over milk cookie in the beginning because you'll just have better uh, value out of strawberry crepe in different modes as well and our new ancient cookie is going to be hollyberry cookie hollyberry cookie is very very good for pve as well uh, just because the uh, single hit damage is really really good uh, the knockback is really really good and also you do tank uh, for the team but just realize that hollyberry cookie is going to require a lot of damage resist substats uh, for the toppings and also going to need a great healer in the back in order to heal up back all the damage that Hollyberry is taking for the team and on herself as tank of your team and then for our rare the only uh, defense cookie that I would really recommend for you to use is going to be avocado I would not recommend you use uh, night cookie just because night cookie does the taunt but has no extra benefit for him so he will definitely die quickly uh, with all the taunt being on him so the only one I would say is avocado avocado does damage and also gives that 30% attack buff for the highest attack power cookie in your team so avocado is probably the best defense cookie for your out of the rare and yeah so that that's gonna do it for the uh, defense so it is up to you here guys um, I'm going to be explaining charge as well here. So we do have different charges, but what makes the difference between a charge cookie and a defense cookie when it comes to, you know, using them in world exploration? It is dependent on how well you can deal damage with your DPSs and how tanky you can get your charge cookies. Charge cookies are relatively uh, tanky as well, but less tankier compared to the defense cookie because of their class. However, what we have in charge cookies are their skills are focused uh, more on dealing damage or um, just doing uh, other things that are not really required uh, re that are involved with tanking. So as you can see, like someone like Kumio is doing taunts or not taunts, but more like a uh, charm, right? It's a uh, seduction, but it is a charm that you do for two seconds, allowing them to stay in place and not attack your cookies. Yes, it works, but it is not going to be enough alone, like someone like Kumio, okay? And Red Velvet, on the other hand, um, does a single hit damage of, you know, insane 1000%, but it is only a single hit and will basically become useless when it comes to dealing with a bunch of mobs. Alright, next one is going to be Raspberry. Raspberry is the newest uh, epic charge cookie that was added into the game. Also going to be a single hit damage, uh, which is not very good for most PvE matches where or stages where it comes to dealing with a bunch of mobs. So out of all of the charges, the best charge and always going to be the best charge for now is going to be Dog Choco. Having that 20% defense debuff for 7 seconds and on top of that dealing 416.2% of a single hit damage to most of the lanes is going to be the best in when it comes to having a charge cookie as your tank. And on top of that, on top of that if you can get Dark Choco to have enough damage resist with like seeing Raspberry with the good substat or you can even just put Solid Almond in there. Dark Choco will do you a great service in World Exploration. So that's what I would say. Purple Yam, 
Uh, werewolves, yes, they work, but I wouldn't say I, to use them just because they are just raw damage and very selfish, not really uh, doing much for the team or when it comes to clearing mobs and things like that. Their damage is very, very low and I wouldn't recommend them with world exploration. So, like I said, when it comes to deciding whether you want to use a charge cookie or a defense cookie, it will depend on your DPS. So when it comes to DPSs, we have uh, different DPSs. So we have someone like Sea Fairy, who deals um, AoE damage, right? And there's someone like Vampire, who deals a single hit damage. So, what is the best decision when it comes to choosing a DPS? It's going to be on how their skill works and how many enemies that skill can uh, target. So we do have different uh, AOE damage uh, DPSs. Someone like Pastry who deals uh, ricochet damage. So Pastry just needs to auto attack in order to do AOE damage. Someone like Black Raisin who attacks certain areas with a certain amount of hits. So there is a chance for Black Raisin to miss her skill. Or there's someone like Sea Fairy who basically has no way to miss her skill. All right, so it is important for us to choose someone like uh, Sea Fairy in order for you to not miss any skill. Also, Black Raisin is just going to be doing ton of damage in a concentrated area, and we still have someone like now Latte and Espresso who are able to deal a pretty decent amount of AOE damage in a certain area. About I would say. Um, rear to middle lane and they suck the enemies in okay so when it comes to um, world exploration though I like to use somebody with extra skills so like Latte has to immobilize uh, for five seconds and a silence for one second and deals damage as well so it's very important for us to have something like this in order to buy your cookies time uh, to charge up their skill or maybe heal a little more. So I would say rather than having just pure raw damage like Espresso, I would value Latte over uh, him because of the extra, you know, skills that you're getting out of her one skill, right? And on top of that, like someone like Sea Fairy, we have uh, Stun as well. And the king of world exploration, I would say, is Licorice uh, Cookie. Because Licorice Cookie does summon uh, servants in a, order to tank for your team, allowing uh, a 20% defense buff as well, which is uh, great. So Licorice is just very, very good all around, doing a good single hit damage right to the enemies, allowing you to summon li three Licorice servants who can fight for you and tank for you, and allowing the 20% defense buff for seven seconds to all your team. So I would say Licorice is probably one of the best, best um, cookie that you can use for PVE. And then when it comes to AOE damage, Black Raisin, Latte, uh, Squid Ink works too. Uh, Mango actually is pretty good in World Exploration as well. So I would say combine them, uh, make a very good comp out of them. It just depends on whether Oh, am I playing on auto or manual? If you're playing on manual, then it doesn't really matter how you set up your team with the AoE damage. But when you do play on auto, guys, you guys got to realize it is automated. And if you have the skills up, they will use it. And if that happens, then there are some times where combos will not work out very well, like Mango and Black Raisin. Mango will push them out of the way of uh, Black Raisin skill or, you know, latte but latte and black raisin can do a great combo when they are used together so you got it's got to keep all those things in mind when it comes to building your team all right and next one is going to be for your rares your rares i would say if you do not have any good dps's in the epic uh section then i would say go with gumball is a very very good dps in the uh rare section cherry bomb is a also great dps and blackberry Alright, so these three are what I would say you should use uh, for your for your rares. And I didn't mention this, but for your frontline, Princess Cookie is also very good uh, for your charge because of the 15% def defense debuff that she casts on the enemy. Alright, and then for your support is going to be Carrot, I would say is the best support that you can have on for rare cookie because of the damage and heal that she does 
Alright, so that's going to be it for the rares. And then lastly, when it comes to single hit damage, uh, it was very important for us to have Vampire or Rye Cookie here um, to do some ton of single hit damage to the bosses or mini bosses that you guys are facing. Okay, so I would say it's very important to at least invest in one of these cookies. Uh, preferably Vampire because Vampire does do more damage in my opinion when it comes to uh, hitting a single hit damage. And on top of that, he does have an evasion, right, when he uses his skill so that you don't get hit by any of the enemies while he's using his skill. Alright, so that's going to be it. And honorable mention is going to be Tiger Lily. Tiger Lily is a great uh, PvE cookie as well uh, because of the 3 second stun and on top of that when she rides her tiger she is immune to damage alright so she does not take any damage when it comes to having uh, her skill up and riding the tiger okay and on top of that she does get a 25% attack speed buff so it is a great cookie to have in a world exploration if you can afford to build her and have her in your team to wrap it up guys, uh, I would say have a good tank or a good charge up in the front, have a great healer in the back, uh, I would just use a, use an epic but here we go, I would say herb, and then have a good DPS uh, in the middle lane like this, and lastly is going to be your last cookie or your fifth cookie is going to be a uh, your choice really. If you have enough fuel, then you can go with another DPS. If you do not have a um, good enough tank, then you could go with another tank. If you do not have good enough heal, then you could add another support in order to uh, have some more heal. So that's what I would recommend for you guys when it comes to building your PvE comp, guys. And I will let you know some of the cookies that you should not be using for PvE is are going to include Cream Puff, Chili Pepper, uh, Werewolf, Kumio, Snow Sugar, uh, your Fig right here, um, Poison Mushroom is not that great, Red Velvet is not that great, okay, and Almond is going to require Almond and Rye in order for Almond to really be viable in a, a PvE comp, Lilac is going to require a Speed Comp, so Lilac will not be very good, Madeline also is only really good with Speed Comp, so I would stay away from uh, upgrading Madeline, and yeah that'll be it and raspberry i would say is only good for maybe boss battles okay so that's what i would tell you guys um to watch out for when you guys are using those cookies in your team obviously if you do not have any other better cookies then yes you can use them but i would not focus investing on them too much and i only invest in them until you can get a good cookie all right so lastly when it comes to treasures guys the standard setup that i would always go for and that i i always like to use in the beginning is going to be like this the scroll jelly watch and horn horn does give you a great amount of defense right here 45.4 percent is no joke guys for all the cookies and on top of that having the jelly watch is going to decrease your cooldown of all cookie by 25.4 percent and the scroll is going to be increasing your attack for all of your cookies so that's what i'll do if you do not have these treasures then the some of the treasures that you can still use are going to be um a slingshot scythe okay and something like the flamingo tube also works here here and there a blind healer staff monocle uh, the feather and the pomegranate uh, branch however I wouldn't recommend those treasures because they do have a cooldown and a charge time which is not that great when it comes to doing PvE and it's just better to have a raw substat uh, increase okay and something that I will tell you guys uh, the slingshot is going to be crucial when it comes to dealing with boss battles guys and uh, something like a combo with slingshot and vampire is going to be the best combo that you can do in order to beat someone like this dragon right here so i did this drag uh beat this dragon with the vamp and slingshot combo so i would recommend you if you guys are having trouble dealing with the bosses then definitely go with the slingshot and vampire Okay, and I think that's a good place to uh, wrap up this video guys. I hope um, this video helps. I will try, I wanted to um, kind of tell you guys some of the teams that you can use in World Exploration, but it's so hard for us to uh, kind of set up a team because 
obviously I have all of the cookies, but you guys do not, or some of you guys may not have all of the cookies and all of the cookies built. So it's hard for me to say, oh, use this team uh, instead of this because this team is better when it when you guys may not even have those cookies. So I would say here are the general rules here are the good cookies so use them and i also will be updating the pve tier list so that you guys can focus on maybe upgrading some of the better cookies out there in the tier list anyways guys i hope you guys found this video helpful and if you guys did don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button if you guys haven't done so already and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys don't miss out on any future cookie and kingdom videos that i upload on youtube and also don't forget i do have a discord channel so that if you guys want to join and want to contact me through discord that would be great and also you can communicate with other cookie and kingdom members that i have on the discord anyways guys thanks for watching once again and i'll see you guys next time